Welcome back to MPS Electrolab. This is episode four of the remote control searchlight. In this episode, I will be rewiring the relays to properly drive the remote control searchlight motors. Let's take a look at how the motors were rewired. We have four relays. The normally closed side of the relays was connected to ground and the normally open side to the plus 12 volts. By actuating a relay one at a time, you basically reverse the polarity on the motor for left, right, up, or down. In this diagram, you can see the motor is actuated in the up direction by putting the 12 volts on one lead of the motor and negative on the other. The first relay is powered to, to close on the normally open position. To reverse the direction, you would actuate the second relay to close on the normally open position, putting the 12 volts on the opposite lead as it was before in the previous direction. In that way, by actuating relay one, you go up, actuating relay two, you go down. And the same for left and right operation. Okay, the power relay module has been rewired. The four motor relays have been connected to 12 volts on the normally open side and ground on the normally closed side. Each relay up, down, left, and right will be actuated to control the polarity on each motor. Up and down is controlled by the gray and the green wire and left and right by the yellow and the blue wire. And so by connecting it this way, we can reverse the polarity by controlling one relay at a time. On the power side, we've used the main power on relay with the large gauge red and gray wire to route AC power to the bulb. I want to use 120 volts home power because a large power supply with such current to power this would be very expensive or we'd have to use large car batteries which would have to be charged. So we're going to take a look at changing this bulb out and try to get one that will work for us. Here is the bulb housing or reflector assembly. I removed the 12 volt bulb which is in a custom package and it's a small bulb. The AC bulbs that would be of sufficient wattage, 50 to 100 watts, are much larger if you want to buy standard bulbs, unless you buy something very expensive. Here's the AC bulb, and you can see it's just not going to fit. So we're, we'll have to make some modifications to make this bulb fit. And I think what we'll do is drill it out so that we can get the bulb through the hole. Okay, so maybe we can pull the lens off but it's really sealed very good i don't think we'll be able to remove the lens we will probably crack the lens itself perhaps i can actually drill from the back and hopefully we will not create too much debris here's the uh, reflector assembly drilled out i used a step drill and very carefully drilled it out and you can see the bulb goes through now so I, i'm I will have some work to try to build some type of mounting assembly. So I think I've got a ceramic base and figure out how to mount it. It has to withstand a lot of heat. But you'll see the drilling is kind of put broken off this reflector material and it's kind of stuck inside. So I need to try to blow that out with some forced air. I did blow out, blow it out with my mouth, but I, I, that stuff is sticking really good to the lens. So for now, I think what I will do is temporarily wire it up. I'll have to get a ceramic base assembly and wire it up permanently. So let's get the bulb assembly, uh, lamp assembly back in place. I'll use just two screws temporarily and then we can fire this thing up and, and see how well it works. Okay, I'm going to bring up the client. I'm going to connect up the cables. I already have the Arduino plugged into the network. Uh, check my connections really quick. I'll go to my uh, laptop. I will bring up the Python client, uh, which will connect over the internet to this device, and then we can do the remote control. All that's needed is to remote control this is once it connects, is use F1 for light lamp on, F2 for lamp off, and Use the up, down, left, and right arrow keys on your keyboard to control the up and down, left and right direction. So I'm adjusting the variac now and tapping off of AC power off of my high voltage DC and AC power supply. I'm going to bring it up to 
uh, something less than 120 volts for now just so we can see it glow uh, since it's a temporary installation and the bulb is just sitting inside the bulb housing. Okay, I have the client running. It's connected up. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm really happy with this test. I think I'll have a follow-up episode once we have the searchlight installed at the house. We'll do one quick preview of that for you, but I have to get back to the house to do that. So thank you for joining. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.